Hi, I'm Dr. Anne Sylvestre with Focus and Flourish. Let's talk about Labrella. In Canada, Labrella is a relatively new medication, injectable medication used to manage osteoarthritis in dogs. Chemically speaking, Labrella is a monoclonal antibody that targets specifically nerve growth factors. What does that mean to the dog? In an osteoarthritic joint, a joint with inflammation, that joint tends to produce a protein known as nerve growth factor. Nerve growth factor specifically increases the sensitivity of the dorsal spinal nerve roots of the sensory nerve to the joint. It's like it's taking the pain of osteoarthritis and turning up the volume is essentially what it's doing. Labrella is a monoclonal antibody that's targeting specifically this protein, this nerve growth factor. What it does to the pet is it turns down the volume on the osteoarthritic pain, so there's less pain perception, which is perfect because by doing that, you can manage the osteoarthritis because if you recall, managing osteoarthritis is about weight management. It's about an exercise regi regime that works for that patient at that level of osteoarthritis. It's about making some perhaps lifestyle changes so that dog can be more comfortable with the osteoarthritis because all we can do is manage osteoarthritis. We're not going to cure it. In order to be able to get the dog exercising properly, then we need to start by managing their pain. So the whole goal is to get them off the drugs. How does Labrella fare in clinical studies? You know, ideally, if you want to make some kind of conclusion about how efficacious a drug is and how safe a drug is, you need to have a double-blind, randomized, controlled clinical trial on a large enough population of patients with this condition so that you can actually isolate the effect of the drug versus the effect of anything else that's going on in this pet's life. It is really hard to get these studies done in veterinary medicine mainly because it's hard to get the numbers. Now, in human medicine, that's a different story. There's just a lot more people out there and a lot more clinical trials can be and are conducted with people. So I'm going to tell you how the human version of Labrella, how do they fare? Some say that there's a very good effect. Others say the effect is not so obvious, but what they pretty much all state is that one of the potential side effects of the monoclonal antibody medications is a rapidly progressive osteoarthritis. RPOA is what they call it. The rapidly progressive osteoarthritis is just that. It's that and osteoarthritis that, you know, they studied so much of this in people. They see it over and over and they know at what rate it should progress. It tends to progress. And they found that it has progressed much more rapidly in about 29% of the people on this medication. The conclusion being that the drug is controlling the pain very well in many of these patients and therefore they're going out and doing a lot more rigorous activity than maybe they would have been doing otherwise because of their osteoarthritic joint. So we're talking again about osteoarthritis management. Exercise is important, but exercise at the appropriate level for the stage of OA and for that patient's lifestyle is what is important as well. What do I do with that information? What do I think about that information? I personally am a fan of Labrella. I do think it works well. I think it's another tool in our toolbox. And it doesn't have so much of the long-term negative side effects that we might see with the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug. But it does allow us to manage the pain control. 
what this potential RPOA tells me is that maybe it's not the drug that you want to use in that younger dog. Maybe it's not the drug that you want to use in the patient that you're seeing for the first time or maybe the second time for its osteoarthritis. Maybe you want to stick with a non-steroidal if possible for that. Or if you are going to use it in the earlier stage of OA in a patient, maybe don't use it repeatedly. Maybe use it the one time just to get them in a good OA management protocol, a good management regime. In the older patient where we, you know, do need to have drugs on board a lot more often, I think it is a perfect medication for that. And they already have maybe a more advanced OA, so I don't think we need to worry about rapidly progressing it at that stage. Those are just my thoughts. I hope you found this information helpful. Please subscribe to our channel and give us a thumbs up.